Imagine in the 19th century, the Ghanaian news media have given voice to popular campaigns for independence, national identity, development and democracy throughout the 20th century, establishing a distinguished history of political activism for Ghanaian journalism. The country has a vibrant press that plays a key role in political discourse, national identity and popular culture. Chapter 12 of the 1992 Constitution guarantees the freedom and independence of the media. Article 2 explicitly prohibits censorship, while Article 3 preempts any licensing requirements for mass media. Editors and publishers are shielded from government control, interference or harassment. When the content of mass media stigmatizes any particular individual or group, the media are obliged to publish any rejoinder from the stigmatized. On the continent, Ghana is ranked number one on the Africa Press Freedom Index, while Reporters Without Borders also ranked Ghana 23rd on the global level, ahead of the United States, United Kingdom and South Africa. Ghana moved up from the 26th position it occupied among 180 countries last year. The whole point of it is to ensure that those in power are kept reminded of their obligations towards ensuring that we have a free press. And so I think they've chosen the right theme for the 25th version of this World Press Freedom Day, which is being celebrated here in Ghana. Although the country can boast of considerable progress in terms of press freedom, there are still some concerns when it comes to brutality and attacks on media personnel, especially by law enforcement agencies. Renowned journalist and dean of the School of Communication Studies at the University of Ghana, Professor Audrey Gajapo, says the issue of safety of journalists is something that has not been given the needed attention. Psychological or mental safety for journalists is a hidden one that hasn't been uh, looked at at all. We haven't even begun to discuss it in our country. And we do have journalists who are constantly covering communities in conflict, for example, in the north or in any of the uh, uh, conflicts, the uh, low-intensity conflicts that we experience around Ghana. Seasoned communication scholar and founder of the Media Foundation for West Africa, Professor Kwame Kakari, believes the media has worked and continues to work to position Ghana as a viable tool to sustain democracy in Africa and also as a beacon of stability, peace and hope for Africa. Without the media, we wouldn't be where we are. The media, good or bad, have ensured that citizens have their human rights respected, have ensured that the opposition parties have the space to do their work, have ensured that some levels of exposure of corruption and uh, bad public uh, administration have been exposed. So I think that the media's contribution has been quite fundamental. Without the media and the freedom we have, I don't think this country can boast to the world about democracy and so on. There is no belaboring the point that the Ghanaian media is male-dominated, often raising concerns about steps taken by stakeholders over the years to bridge the gender gap. However, former Shiraj boss Anna Bosman contends that in spite of the numerous challenges women in the media face in the country, their contributions to the development of Ghana cannot be overemphasized. We have some women who can write very well, but they're not, they're not, they're not very well visible. Uh, you don't see that we talk too much about them. Uh, we are a country that has a lot of talent, but we do not make, we do not recognize our talent and that's really a failing um, we we need to we need to recognize talents we need to reward talent we need to talk about talent. we need to showcase talent so that that will also empower and also inspire 
others to grow and especially when we're talking about women that's very very important acting director general of al jazeera media network dr mustafa swag lauded african journalists for shining the light on underreported issues an agenda the al jazeera boss reckons is gradually changing the negative narrative of the african continent i believe that uh, the media contribution is measured by how much information and how much knowledge the media uh, com communicated to people because people everyone in the world can make the right kind of decision that at least suits their needs when they have knowledge knowledge that is based on facts based on integrity based on moral values that could help the people that's where where development really start. It starts with knowledge and the role of media is to provide that kind of knowledge. The Ghanaian media has a central role to play in improving the human condition in the country and should collectively address the critical issues affecting the citizenry to enable them fulfill their potential.